A long time ago, there were three buffalo bulls. There was Scruffy, the smallest buffalo bull. There was Fluffy, the medium-sized buffalo bull. And then there was Buffy, the biggest, roughest, toughest uncle buffalo bull of all. They lived and eat and play on the plains all day, every day. One day they had eaten all the grass in their area when Scruffy pointed his lips and said, Look over there. There is some fresh and delicious grass for us to eat. And so the buffalo bulls went to head over to the other side. Scruffy found a log for them to cross the river. As Scruffy started to cross the log bridge, out jumped a hungry, scary looking Bigfoot. Mmm, what a tasty looking little buffalo you are, said the Bigfoot. No, please, you wouldn't want to eat me. I'm just skin and bones. I'm barely a snack. You'll want to eat my cousin. He's bigger and fatter than me. He even smells like fry bread. Mmm, you're right. Eating you would only make me more hangry. Go on, get out of here then, said the Bigfoot. And so Scruffy crossed the bridge to the fresh grasslands. Fluffy's turn had come, and as he tried to cross the river, out came the Bigfoot. Look at this tasty looking buffalo. Mmm, you really do smell like fry bread. Let's see if you're greasy and you taste like it. Fluffy said, Oh wait, no, 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 no. My uncle is bigger and juicier than me. He's got that kamad bod. Enough meat to last you all week. He'll be enough taco meat for your whole tribe. Rubbing his belly. Oh man, buffalo tacos will sound really good right about now. Okay, go on then, go. So Fluffy ran past the Bigfoot to join his cousin Scruffy. Now it was Buffy's turn to cross the bridge. When he did, the Bigfoot jumped in his way too. What a big juicy looking buffalo you are. You'll be enough to last me all winter for sure. Mmm, you're gonna make some real good buffalo tacos, buffalo corn soup, buffalo and hominy, buffalo burgers, buffalo spam. As the Bigfoot went on and on about his bison recipes and what his plan on cooking, Buffy lowered his head and got to a charging stance muttering. The Bigfoot not hearing what Buffy said stood still. Boom! The Bigfoot went flying into the air and into the river. Buffy crossed the bridge and joined his nephews to enjoy the fresh grass and they ate all day until their bellies were just plump and they dozed off afterwards.